What is up everyone? Welcome back to Whales and Locks. In uh, today's video, we're going to be looking at Michigan State at Indiana. The line in this game is Indiana minus six and a half and the over under is 135. So this is the only time these two are scheduled to meet up in this regular season. On Michigan State side, they sit at 10 and nine, four and nine in the Big Ten, putting them at 11th in the Big Ten. I think you can make a legitimate argument that Michigan State is the worst team in the Big Ten. I mean, they just get nothing going for them offensively. They've scored over 65 points once in their last eight games. For a while, people, including myself, uh, put a lot of their struggles towards their COVID pause, but we're entering game eight of post-COVID for them. At this point, it's just their team and how bad they are. This season, they're 4-15 and against the spread, 2-11 and against the spread in conference games alone. Realistically, Michigan State needs to start getting the disrespect that Nebraska gets when it comes to setting lines. Nebraska gets put plus double-digit spreads up against them every single game. I think we need to be at that point here with Michigan State. On the Indiana side, they sit at 12-9, and 7-7 seven and seven in the Big Ten, putting them tied for 7th. Uh, at this point, every game is a must-have for Indiana as they sit squarely on the bubble to try to get into the NCAA tournament here. Indiana's led predominantly by their big man, Trace Jackson Davis. Um, and if Michigan State's game against Purdue was any indication with how they're going to handle Trace Jackson Davis, Purdue didn't have anyone get, or, or Trivion Williams was never doubled in that entire game, and he absolutely went off. Uh, Jackson Davis, if he, if he is not doubled in this game, he could put up at least 25 points easily. I just don't understand why Michigan State continues to be put in these situations against good Big Ten teams where the spread makes it look like this game is going to be close at all. I'm going to go ahead and take Indiana minus six and a half here and go against uh, Michigan State's horrendous against the spread record here. Um, Indiana must must have this game. So I'll, I'll take Indiana here minus six and a half in a game that I think Indiana can take pretty easily. Um, so if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more picks in the future, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.